Hi, I'm George, and we'll be making this image mosaic portrait here inside of Adobe's Photoshop. And if you like this video, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you want to learn a lot more about Photoshop, take a look at my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, for this, it takes a little bit of setup because we have to make this mosaic in behind here of all these images, and that's where this setup comes in. So let's just get this out of the way here. And you'll first have to start off with 100 images. Now I have these all in one folder. I just copy them over in here. That's called the folder mosaic. 100 images. Now these are all JPEGs and they're all about the same size. They're not exactly the same size. You can see this one over here is a little bit shorter than the ones over in here. So they're not perfect matches yet, but we're gonna be fixing that in just a couple of steps. So you wanna find 100 images that are basically the same size. And then also make a second folder over here, just an empty folder. We're gonna be resizing these images and putting the resized images over into here. Okay, let's go back over into Photoshop. Here we go. I'm just going to delete a couple of layers in here. We'll delete that layer and I'll delete that mosaic layer. There we go, just get rid of that one and this, get this out of the way. There we are, I'll set this back to normal. Okay, here is the original image. We'd be doing the mosaic on top of this image here or actually behind this image here. So let's now set up that mosaic. And we'll be doing two things on that. First, I need to open up one of those images, close this out of the way. Let's now open up one of those images from the collection of 100 images. File and open, we'll find that. There we go, and I'll grab the first one here and open that up. There we go. Now we need to be able to resize all 100 of those images down to the exact same size. So for that, we'll make an action. Go up here to Window, come down to Actions, and over here. Now I already have a new set. I just made a new set here called Set 1. That's that button right here. And this is an example I used in a previous video. So we're on Set 1, and to make a new action, just come down here and click on this button right there. Give it a name. I'll call it Resize 2.5 by 4. Choose Record, and it's now recording. And they can take all the time you want on this step. Photoshop is just gonna do the actual actions and repeat those very, very quickly. It's gonna ignore any of this wait time, so don't worry about any wait time. Just take your time and do it properly. Let's now resize this. Go up to Image, come down to Image Size right here, and I wanna have this at a width of four and a height of 2.5, that worked out just fine. If that was off, I would simply uncheck that. It would be four and then 2.5 if you didn't have that one already matching a good size. There we go. I'll change the resolution here to 150. And I have my resample set here for preserved details too, which should work out just fine for us. Choose OK. There we go. We now need to save this file. File and save. There we go. That's all done. Now come down here and click this button. That then stops that recording. We now have that recorded as an action in our set one actions. Now we're ready to go ahead and resize all of those images. So let's just close this out of the way. I can close that down now and go up here to file, come down to automate and batch right here. And then here, there's set one and then choose your action. It's right there at the top. Choose a folder. I already have mine set for my mosaic folder. Everything else can be left alone. Come over here and choose a destination folder. I already have mine set to my mosaic two folder. That's the empty one that I showed you earlier on. I'll leave everything else here alone as well. Choose okay and it's then going to run that action, run this action over here on all the images in this folder and then save those over into that folder. This will then resize all of our images down to the right size that we need. Choose OK, and it's going to begin doing that process. There we go, let's just go through all 100 of those images and get those all saved. So I'll go ahead and pause my video right here and I'll bring it back up as soon as this process is finished. Okay, that's now done. Let me bring up that folder and we'll take a look at those images. Here we go. There's all those images. They're all now saved down to the exact same size. If we can double check, I'll just roll over one of these things and we should see that new size in there. This is showing that in pixel dimensions, but that is that 2.5 by four dimension right there. Okay, that's all taken care of. And all those images are now exactly the same size. Now we can use that to make a contact sheet where everything fits nice and neat inside of that contact sheet. So file, come down here to automate. We'll be using the contact sheet too. And doing that previous step where I resize all the images, that saves you a lot of work in the future right here. Okay, we're going to be choosing a source here. It's a folder, 
And I have mine set for my Mosaic 2 folder right there. So that's going to go where we just save all of our images into. And our document size down here is going to be 8 wide by 5 tall. And this is a matching ratio to that image size. We did 2.5 by 4. If I double that, that's 5 by 8. So this matches that ratio exactly. I'm keeping the resolution the same. Keeping everything in the same ratio is going to make it fit perfectly onto that sheet. And then down here, we're doing 100 of those. That's 10 across by 10 down. And that's all 100 images in here. And then over here, if this is checked, just uncheck that and set the vertical and horizontal to 0 and 0. What this does is it puts space in between your images if you want to. Most contact sheets have space between the pictures. We want to get rid of that space. So that's why we're setting this at 0 to 0. And then don't check this because they're already set to fit. We've already taken care of that step. Okay, when you're done here, we'll click on OK. It's going to then start that process. It's going to open up each image. And you can see it working across the top over there. On the right hand side, you can see all those images over there coming in. And this should fit exactly. Now, if you watch it as it goes across that sample image in the middle, the bounding box matches that exactly. When it hits that, we have an exact match on that. So we know that this is matching our images perfectly. And this goes actually pretty fast, as you can see. As soon as this is done, it's going to merge all those layers together and give us one final merged image with everything nice and neatly set up to fit properly. Almost done as I said, this is actually a pretty fast process. Okay, here's the last little bit right down here. And there we go. Looks like I'm missing one image at the very bottom right down there, but we're pretty good. We can just fake that one. I'll just grab one of these up here and paste it in down there. So for whatever reason, it skipped one image, happens sometimes. But there we go. There is that setup. We now can use this in our other image. But first, let's go ahead and fix that little bit right down here. I'm going to zoom in. We'll just pick something else. Maybe this feather right there. That's kind of nice. And I'll grab my rectangular marquee tool and let's just grab this like that. There we go. And then layer new via copy. There it is. And I'll pull that down towards the bottom. We can zoom out just a little bit now. I'll use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom back out. I have it set up for mouse zooming. And we'll get down there. Hold the space bar down to move your image. And I'll put that right in the bottom corner. And let's bring our other image back into the same location. There we go. And that just fills in that one spot. Again, every once in a while it may miss an image, but that takes care of that. And then fit screen. We're now all set. Now I need to have this all on one layer. That one little bit down here kind of messed that up for us. So I'm just going to right click over here and we'll merge visible. And it's now on one layer. Okay, now that, that is fixed. Let's open up our portrait image. And we have that saved right over here. There's my mosaic portrait. It's a PSD file right now. And this just fits screen. Okay, let's go back over to our context sheet. I'm just going to float that. Grab my move tool. And then I'll grab that image and just drag it over here into our working file. There we go. We can now get that out of the way. Now I want to resize this. And the size that I like is about two-thirds the size of an eye. And actually, we came pretty lucky here. It already is almost at that size. So if I come right over here to the corner of this eye over here, I'm going to bring my size down just a little bit like that. And somewhere in there is pretty good. It's about two thirds. I like that. And that's just so when we do this next step and we're seeing the mosaic through the image, there's a good chance that the eye is going to be mostly inside of one of these images, but not completely. And that will add to the effect. So that's the proper sizing for that. Again, about two thirds. And I'll put this one right up here. There we go. Let's go over to this layer, right click on the name and duplicate layer. Choose OK. I'll take that one. I'll pull that one straight down. There we go. Right click on the name again and duplicate layer. Pull that one straight down. These should automatically snap into place for you. There we go. If they're not snapping, go up to view and make sure that snap to is set here. And make sure that those are all checked and it should be just fine on that. Okay, there's one set. I'll click on the top layer here, hold my shift key, click on the bottom mosaic layer. Let's right click and we're going to merge those layers, merge layers, and then right click and duplicate layer. Choose OK. I can now pull this one over here and let's let that snap into place. Make sure that they line up properly. Right there is good. And there we go, there's our mosaic. Let's go ahead now and merge these two layers together, right click. Merge layers, 
And there it is. There's our mosaic all set up. Now, take this mosaic and pull it underneath our image layer. Just pull it straight down below that image layer. Come up to our image layer. We now need to blend this layer into that layer in behind. That's one of our blend modes here. Now, you can choose a lot of different blend modes for different effects. I'll just click on just a few of these, and I'll use my wheel on the mouse to roll through. You can see quite a few of these do some interesting things. But the one I want is right down here, hard light. And that gives the best effect for this. So that's looking really nice. But because I had that white background, we're losing a lot of those images in the background. We can fix that, maybe tweak things just a little bit by using an adjustment layer in here. Go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and you want to have Levels. It's my personal favorite. Where it says Use Previous Layer, make sure that, that is checked. Choose OK. This way it's only going to work on the portrait layer and it's not going to touch the layer in behind. Now, I want to bring back in that background a little bit. And that's a white area. I just need to tone down that white. And that's the bottom layer over here, the bottom row. This is our output. Pull the white side down just a little bit. And you can see there, I can come in and I can show or hide as much of that white as I want. I'm just going to pull it back just a little bit. I'm just watching down here at the bottom. I want to have some of that bottom stuff showing. Not too much, but just, just a bit more to improve that look. And I think that looks pretty good. Then maybe just a little bit more contrast in here on the top scale. This is our input scale. And pull that down just a little bit. And there we go. As you can see, it's actually a very easy technique to do. The only real difficult part is arranging those images in the first place so that everything fits properly. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button. Make sure you click on subscribe. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course for that. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.